think these tools are ready for peer review. I think as a industry and as a group of professionals, we have to embrace this technology. Uh, the reality is that there's a lot of headwinds in research when it comes to funding challenges, when it comes to you know, not compensating the peer review process, the quality of peer review, and what we really need to do is figure out the way that these tools can help us uh, because uh, we need these tools to advance science. And again, let's start with these kind of small processes first, make it easier for peer reviewers to do their actual job, which is to critically evaluate an article. Then we can get to the next stage, which could be bigger things, uh, building again, a community where we agree on what gets into a knowledge base. And we have these uh, agents, AI agents that can evaluate a peer reviewer or the peer review they do, or even generate peer review at a certain level once we've established a certain quality level that, that can be made. Um, so one of the things I think AI tools will be very good at and are already good at are systematic review types of analyses or meta-analyses. And if you apply that same approach to a knowledge base that can augment or help the peer review process, you might actually help peer reviewers find the gaps of what they don't know about an article and build that into their peer review and even you know, add more value to uh, the process that they're given. Uh, for example, a summary of the article or summary of a methodology or things like that, that can help the reviewer understand you know, more technical aspects of the article, but then give their opinion about things that are more translatable, for example, the translational aspects. So there's a lot of promise here. Um, and as a, as an academic you know, uh, society, we really need to figure out how these tools will work together, but also making sure that we uh, do it in an appropriate way that doesn't impact the scientific integrity process.